This video is about SpaceX's Mars program. SpaceX, uh, the ultimate goal of SpaceX is to establish permanent human colonies on Mars. To do this, they've been advancing their space capabilities over the last uh, few years, and they've made quite a lot of progress. They plan on carrying out a robotic mission to Mars by 2024, and later on sending humans to Mars, most likely by 2030, or a little while later. Here is a short, here's a short animation courtesy of the SpaceX website. Uh, on what landing on Mars is going to look like. I take no credit for this video. Here, the spacecraft is entering the uh, Martian atmosphere. It's pointing down right now. This is the point where it gets ready for landing, and this is where it turns upward. It's getting ready to fire its engines again. Here it's approaching the ground and it's at this point it's gotten slow enough to where it can safely land. Yeah, you can see here how the thrust is directed somewhat to the side. This is to stabilize its landing. And it slowly eases eases it um sorry, it slowly eases itself into a landing position and now it lands vertically for the colony itself the robotic missions will be used to set up basic basic equipment that will help build up the uh, colony from the ground up, for example solar panels, mining equipment, and water extraction. These are the most basic uh, foundations of the colony. There will also be two crewed flights to set up more uh, robust and important infrastructure. And the first actual buildings that the original colonists live in will be the spacecraft. So the spacecraft themselves will double as homes for the colonists. This colony will need to be self-sufficient from the very beginning. Food will either be grown in greenhouses, so uh, glass buildings that will be able to uh, provide a earth-like environment, or simply grown underground. These buildings will most likely use hydroponics farms. Hydroponics is the practice of growing uh, plants, in this case crops, directly in water. There is no soil involved in it. And this is very efficient. It can be much more effective than regular agriculture. And uh, one, of all, one very important uh, piece of infrastructure that will, that will be set up is a autonomous or a robotic propellant plant. And this plant will actually produce fuel for the rockets themselves. Because one advantage that Mars has over Earth is that since the gravity is lower and the atmosphere is thinner, it's much easier for rockets to leave uh, Mars than it is for them to leave Earth. So this could actually be an important stepping stone. The colonization of Mars could be a major stepping stone in space travel itself just because getting rockets to leave Mars and go to other parts of the solar system is much easier so if uh, if this colony is colony probably will eventually have the, abil the ability to produce its own rockets and probes and they will even if they're not producing their own rockets for their for example for their existing rockets they could use the uh, fuel produced here to send uh, probes or satellites etc into space. SpaceX has recently launched astronauts into orbit uh, with the cooperation of NASA. This is a major milestone for them because it's their first manned flight. 
the company has been launching satellites uh, with great success, mainly thanks to its extremely cost-efficient rockets, which are partially reusable. And they will be going to Mars multiple trips. They'll be carrying out multiple trips to Mars because setting up this colony is not going to be easy. It's not going to be fast. They will not be doing it in one go. So SpaceX is probably one of the most promising, if not the most promising uh, space company, certainly the most promising private space company because of the amount of progress they've made in making space travel more efficient and proving that space travel can be something more than just governments sending up probes into space. They probe, they prove that space travel is something that normal people can uh, influence or be influenced by. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.